Hi. Last time we created this animation where each of these balls is describing an infinity symbol, basically render or dot auto clear is equal to false. I need to preserve the drawing buffer if I want auto clear to work. So each is describing a different infinity symbol in a different orientation. I thought it would be fun today to apply a material that is really cool. It's called a subsurface scattering material. And 3JS has a shader which works that way. I'm going to copy and paste the shader in here, apply it to these geometries, and then see what it looks like. I want these to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to increase that size a bit like so. Not enough. Yeah. And then let's make these a little rounder, like so. Yeah. Good. Let's grab that material. I have it in a test file I was working on called Material SSS. And in this file, I've got, I'm going to load my shader here and then get that material and then apply it down there. That's simple. Material. I'm going to paste that function in here, the get SSS material function. So you can see it. It looks like that. I'm going to grab that subsurface scattering material, import it from, I'm not sure from where. I know it's in my libs folder, and I think it's in JSM143. And then maybe shaders. Yeah. And then sub surface scattering shader that's where it is dot js so now i've got the shader i'm not using it yet let's just apply it to every material and instead of this i'll define the material as const material equals get subsurface scattering material they don't look great i'm gonna be honest with you right now i just have these lights uh, i have an ambient light and a point light so i've turned off the ambient light and i think these guys are being you can see the purple ones at the top kind of being influenced by the point light let's move it closer to the center yeah yeah you, you can see it now so as they move across it they kind of change color let's reduce the shininess of that subsurface scatter material to a zero so what they are getting now is just diffuse let's reduce the diffuse down too so the diffuse is pretty much black and they only pick up color when they move over that light. I think that's kind of cool. I want the light to move around too. I think that could be interesting. But what I think would be a good idea is to create, isn't it interesting that there's a var here? I'm going to create a function, function get light. Okay. And we'll return that and I'll and here I'm creating a bunch of meshes let's do the exact same thing but for lights so I have this mesh and we're just gonna say lights and num lights let's say num lights is just three for now just three I want these lights to have let's see and instead of ball let ball turn get ball light equals get light Okay, and we're going to push the light into our lights and add light dot obj. I, I like that. Let's call it point instead. And I'm going to return a plain old JavaScript object that has that point and an update function. And the update function looks exactly like the get balls update function, where I'm just going to move that light around and assign. Yeah, like that. Do I define radius or time mold? No. So let's grab those two. Okay, not using offset, pi by offset. Yeah. So now it's going to be especially bright because all three of those lights are just kind of sitting in the middle. Here, I'll duplicate this and say lights dot for each. Update the lights. Now the lights should be moving around. However, I think there's, a oh yes, there's plenty of errors. Mesh is not defined. What line is that? Find 73. Oh, yeah, I just copied it over. I didn't bother to update it. Oh, still bad. Mesh is not defined on line 
wine 73. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, didn't I save it? Oh, okay, I did. Yeah, now the lights are moving around, illuminating these guys. I did this thing inside the get ball method. I created three object 3D, and I randomly rotated it, and then added the point the mesh to that object to get some extra rotation that I wasn't able to get otherwise. I'm going to do the same thing for the point light, OBJ, and add the point. Now those lights will have more interesting movement. And one of them is like pretty closely matched to that guy there, to one of those objects. I think this would be more interesting if each of these guys, these spheres, had a kind of a textured thing. I'm also going to import the orbit controls and initialize them, orbit init, like that. Now I can kind of move around and see these guys. Isn't that cool looking? So this I think is super interesting. You can, using this subsurface texture, you can apply a thickness texture. Each one of these guys has this kind of marbled look, which I think is super cool. I wish I could set kind of, well, I can do an RGB value. I want to set hue though. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a color, const color equals new three dot color. Okay, and I'm going to set the HSL to the hue, saturation, and lightness that I want. The hue is going to be a math.random times 2 plus 5. No, those need to be um, decimals. Okay, with this color, I'm going to grab the RGB. So const R, comma, G, comma, B equals color. I think I can do that. Let's see if I can. And then use that for the thickness color. R comma G comma B. See if that works. Oh no, 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 no. You cannot do that. You can't assign H, get HSL. What? Oh, not get HSL, set HSL. Does that work? Oh my goodness, it works. Let's broaden the, the hue a little bit. Now we get some purples and greens in there. Uh, too much. Pull it back. More greens. Greens and blues. Oh my god, isn't that cool? How long does it take me to do that? 11 minutes and 44 seconds. Add more lights. Wouldn't that be cool? We've got three lights. How about eight lights? So, and maybe that's too many. They're all kind of lit up now. Also, I could reduce the brightness of these guys. I'm getting greedy. Let's say the point light intensity is just five. And we've got fewer of them. And I like that the lights are invisible. They just kind of drift around. Wait, one sec, one sec. So in the in the light here, let's get one red light. The hue, if math.random is less than 0 0.05, question mark, then the hue is equal to zero, else random. So nope, one of these guys should be red. Maybe that likelihood is a little bit too small. Yeah, so now we got one red one. It's a little bit dark. I could add a light, like a, uh, I wonder what this looks like if I just add an ambient light. It doesn't look like anything at all. Maybe because the diffuse is so low. I'm going to try adding a, a directional light. A D light equals a new three dot directional light. Comment that out. I don't know. They're all a little bit brighter, I guess. Let's make it super bright. Yeah. They're a little more visible, right? Is that better? I can't tell. Comment that out again. I kind of like it with it on. And make that maybe two. I don't know. I think it's a pretty cool effect. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks a lot. And see you next time.